World of Tanks controls. Uh, these are the settings for the controls, which are the keyboard and the mouse in World of Tanks. You get there by going to the upper left in your garage, clicking on settings, going to controls. So you're going to see W, S, A, D, which are used to go forward, backward, left and right. Locking the hull, the handbrake. which uh, allows you to spin if you have a fast tank, a medium tank. Doesn't work with tank destroyers. So basically what you do is you can turn the vehicle really fast when you do a brake. Cruise control, you hit the R or the F, which you probably know how to use already. Stop and fire. I don't use it, and the reason why is because it's set to the same firing for um, the auto, no, for fire a salvo. On all of my settings are now screwed up. So I changed it to middle mouse button, and I disabled the stop and fire. I believe it, I don't remember what it was. Now, come on. We'll do it afterwards. So fire is uh, left mouse button. And fire a salvo is when you fire a double shot. My advice is you change it. Otherwise, if you hold um, the buttons down. It used to be both buttons. I don't know why they disabled it. It doesn't seem to work with mine anymore. Uh, but it just wouldn't fire if you... If you held them both down. Auto aim is, uh, I think it's supposed to be the right mouse button. Disable auto aim. There's a key on the keyboard to use it. I never use it. I would recommend setting it to something else. Switch reticle mode. Uh, so that shows you Let's see, how do I get the other mode? It'll switch the radical mode. It'll basically show something different. We're going to switch radical mode. Trajectory view means when you're playing SPG... You hit the letter G to see a 3D view of where you're firing. Reload shell container is C. You probably use that often. Hide the battle interface. Pretty sure it's the V key. Means that you just see gameplay. No menus. Progress of personal missions is N. This is shown at the beginning of the game. When it's counting down the battle, it tells you that. Abandon a vehicle is used in frontline. You hit J if you want to abandon your vehicle and respawn. Personal reserves, I think you can hit N and go through the menu if you want to remap B for something else. Obviously, consumables, you got one through zero. And then you've got team communication. T is to target... A vehicle. Uh, Z opens up a menu where you can click with the mouse. A lot of these changed over the years, so you might not be used to them. I just don't use them. People obviously do. I always use the Z and then I pick an option. For example, reloading, uh, because I have two keyboards and the function keys are different, I just hit the Z, and then I select Reloading. Camera up, down, left, right. I don't remember if I ever used this. Or maybe I, you use this when you're watching someone else play. Q is push to talk for chat, so if you go into the sound settings, you'll also see that. Enable voice chat. 
in dynamic platoons. I didn't know there was an option to do that, but it's right there. Zoom in on the minimap is the plus key and then the minus key. And then to show the map or hide the map, you hit M. You can change the mouse sensitivity. The horizontal inversion must mean if you go left, it goes right. If you go up, it goes down. And same with the reverse. But when I applied it, it didn't do anything. So I'm going to hit the default. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hit cancel. Don't want to screw up the controls. And I'm just going to go verify. It looks correct. Okay, those are the controls settings in World of Tanks. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.